Hi there, it's Stanton here from Algo Trading. Today we are going to be discussing three automated trading strategies for Bitcoin on the Bybit MT5 platform. So let's get into it. So I'm running these three strategies. Um, I back tested them. I've put them onto my live account. So far, if you look at my history, um, they're doing quite well. I haven't had a loss yet. I've had three wins using these BTC strategies. Um, there is a disclaimer that BTC is a more expensive instrument. So if you have got a small account, just be careful. I'm running it on a, well, I started with a $150 account. It's now moved up to $191. So just be careful with when running Bitcoin strategies. Just keep your lot size in check and make sure that you're not over leveraging yourself. All right, so let's go through the strategies. I'm using my multifarious EA. Um, all the details about the EA are down below where you could purchase it, how you could get it for free, plus um, any information you want about how to install Bybit MT5 and how to get EAs running on your MT5 account. It's all down below in the, in the comments. Okay, so let's go through our first strategy. I've just loaded the EA onto the chart. Now what we're going to do, we're going to plot the indicator so we can discuss the strategy. So the first strategy is it's just a normal um, MACD moving average strategy. So let's plot our, so we've got, we've got a, we're using our moving averages. We've got an MA trend. So that means we're using two moving averages to decide the entry point. So we've got a uh, 195 moving average and we've got a 35 moving average and let's plot those quickly moving average i'm just going through this so it's a 195 that is our slow moving average our slow moving average we will do in a greeny color and it is the close price and i always use exponential moving average and then we're going to plot our 35 period moving average and we'll make that in red or a ready color. Okay, and now let's load our MACD. Let's just check our MACD settings. So we're using a 20462, and we're using a MACD cross strategy. Okay, so it's 20462, so let's chart that quickly. Twenty forty six. Okay, so how the strategy works is that if the red line, the slow moving average or the 35 period moving average is above the green line, the slow moving average or 195 period, and the MACD, as you can see here, crosses above zero, we will go into a long trade. The converse of that is that if the red line, the slow moving average is below the fast, uh, sorry, the fast moving average is below the slow moving average, and we cross below the MACD line, we'll go into short trade. So the moving averages are looking at our trends and the MACD will, is our decision-making um, indicator. So when that crosses, we will go into trade, either long or short based on the moving averages. And so that's strategy one. So that is a MACD and moving average strategy. Let's go into strategy two. So let's go through the settings. Again, I'm using my multifarious EA for Bybit. So let's go through the strategy. So this is also a moving average crossover. Just think. Oh, sorry, this is a moving average crossover strategy and we are using RSI and a moving averages. So we're gonna have two moving averages, a 160 and a five. But let's plot those quickly. Let's do our five first because it's red. And let's plot our faster moving average. Our slow moving average. So I'm going to make that green. And that is a 160. And let's look at our other setting. Now the other setting, we are actually looking at the um, RSI on the eight hour chart. So we can't actually chart it here. It won't make sense to chart it on this chart because we're looking at eight hours. But the way the strategy works is that if the RSI on the eight hour chart is above 50, 
and the slow fast moving average crosses over above the slow moving average it will go into long trade converse of that is that if the rsi is below 40 on the eight hour chart and the slow moving the fast moving average crosses below the slow, slow moving average it will go into short trade that is strategy two and let's go into our last strategy which is it's a reversal strategy i believe so we are looking at the moving average so if the price above or below the slow moving average so we only need to plot one moving average here let's plot our moving average and this is the 200 period and it is that's the slow moving average and we're looking at our i think this is also an rsi strategy so if you let's go down to the rsi settings there we go so let's plot our rsi period so it's a nine period and we're using 70 and 25 and we are going to seed levels okay so let's plot our rsi it's a nine period and the levels are 75 and 20 let's just make sure of those levels 70 and 25 yes so the levels are the same so how this strategy works is that it looks for a trend using the 200 day moving average if the price is above the 200 day moving average and the rsi is below 20 it will go into a long trade and if the price is below the 200 day moving average and the price goes above 75 it will look for a short trade so this is a sort of mean reversion strategy all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please click the links below like subscribe and join our tele group we've got a lot of information in there so i hope to see you guys soon cheers